So in this video, we're going to talk about the numerical aperture in Fourier optics and how it relates to the resolution of a system and how we're, to, how we're supposed to understand the resolution in the context of Fourier optics. So in the, uh, in the classical geometric optics sense, uh, we're, we might have some lens or some imaging system in general and there's some optical axis Z and say we're trying to image an object about that op optical axis. Um, now the maximum angle that the object is going to form with the lens, so some of the light from the bottom of the object is going to hit this top of the lens, uh, and this is our maximum angle that we're able to, that our lens or that our optical system is able to support. And so this in general is the entrance pupil, but here it's just, I've put it as a single lens. And the numerical aperture is just defined as the refractive index, which is in this case with free space is one, uh, times sine of this maximum angle. So we know in Fourier optics that this angle uh, corresponds to a ray, which is just the uh, perpendicular to the wave front of some plane wave uh, leaving the bottom of the object. And ignore uh, ignore the fact that uh, we wouldn't have a, a plane wave just leaving from the bottom of the object. It would be a spherical wave. But this is the maximum angle plane wave that we're able to detect, that we're able to uh, absorb with our lens. So any higher frequency plane waves, so a plane wave going off in this direction, for example, those would get cut off by the aperture of our system. So those would just get blocked uh, and wouldn't get into our lens. But we know that this plane wave of a particular angle corresponds to a certain spatial frequency in our object. So the spatial frequency kx is just 2 pi over lambda x now. Or if you prefer uh, just our initial wave vector, so k, which is 2 pi over lambda naught, the wavelength in free space, times sine theta. And so if there's a maximum angle that we can support going into our system, then there's a maximum spatial frequency. So kx max, this is just k times sine theta max, or k times our numerical aperture. And so this aperture is effectively acting like a low-pass filter. So uh, I'm going to draw this in the, uh, the convention of signals and systems here. So if this is our kx value, uh, then this is our maximum uh, value that we can, we can transmit. And so this is our, the Fourier transform of our entrance pupil. So let's call this our entrance pupil, or in this case, the Fourier transform of this aperture here. So if our object has any very quickly varying uh, components to it, if it's got any high frequencies or any rapid changes in the object, so maybe it's a, I don't know, maybe we're trying to image a checkerboard, and the checkerboard happens to have a period, so the, these squares have a period lambda, which is smaller than lambda x, then the spatial frequency that this corresponds to, let's call this k lambda, this is going to be greater than our maximum cutoff frequency. And so this uh, pattern, we're not going to be able to transmit some of it. All the components, all the high frequency stuff is going to get blocked by this aperture. So if you were to define the resolution of an optical system, uh, you might want to define it as the smallest distance. So this smallest distance lambda x that you can reliably uh, transmit a frequency of. So let's define the resolution of our system as lambda x minimum. So the absolute minimum uh, wavelength or equivalently maximum spatial frequency uh, we can transmit. And so if you just plug stuff in, uh, you'll get, so lambda x max is just 2 pi over kx max, or lambda x min, uh, which is 2 pi over 2 pi over lambda naught, so the wavelength in free space, times our numerical aperture. So 2 pi's cancel, lambda naught comes upstairs, and you'll get that the resolution is just lambda naught divided by our numerical aperture. And this looks an awful lot like the equation you'll get if you just analyze things in terms of airy patterns. So the resolution that you'll get uh, if you analyze things in terms of airy patterns, so the separation of the first null 
of your, your airy patterns, you'll get that the resolution is just 1.22, or let's say 0.61, uh, 0.61 times lambda naught over NA. But this was really hard to find. Uh, like if you've ever uh, tried to actually do the math on this, this is actually reasonably challenging. And this was just, we're making some heuristic argument uh, that basically you just look at the thing and you're like, well, I think that might be the maximum resolution. And you get an equation that's extremely similar to what you'd get if you were to analyze this more rigorously. But we actually have much more information because we know now what the Fourier transform of this filter is. So if we take the Fourier transform of our object and we run it through this filter, then we'll, we know what we'll get at the output. So we can calculate what we'll get uh, as we traverse through an optical system. And in one dimension, this will look like a sink function. So like this. Uh, in two dimensions, it'll look like a Bessel function, which is uh, very, very similar to a sink function. Or sorry, uh, it'll look like a jink function or uh, a Bessel, Bessel J function. Uh, divided by, so special j of x divided by x. All, this is also known as a jink. And so we have a much more rich set of information to work with than just the resolution, just a single number for the optical system. But you can think about the numerical aperture as your fundamental limit on resolution because it's the fundamental, resolu the fundamental limit uh, on your spatial frequency. So this is ultimately how uh, I think in terms of the numerical aperture. Uh, so it's something that limits the maximum spatial frequency you can transmit successfully through a system. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like down below and subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, if you have any questions or comments, please post those down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.